What's going on guys, Blue Monster here, and first of all, you're probably wondering, where have I been the past week? Um, well, first bit, I meant to do a video midweek, but uh, I've been quite busy, um, I'm doing a lot of my options for um, the year ahead, so I haven't really had time to do a video, and I've just been slightly busy. Also, I have been lazy, um, I just, I've just been watching a lot of movies and NBA, I don't really feel like playing a lot of games at the moment, but I do every now and then. Um, but also, I meant to do a video yesterday, on um, Saturday, but uh, over here in Britain, uh, we are having a lot of rain. Uh, if I just look outside my bedroom window, there is just water all over the garden floor, everywhere. There's, you can't even see the grass, uh, in most places, you know. Uh, so we had a lot of power cuts. I'm not sure what happened, if there was a tree down, if... They had to shut them off because water was some, gonna do something. Or, I, I don't know. You know, we just had no power for an entire day, and obviously with no power, you can't play any games. So that's why I had didn't have a video yesterday. But today, I think I got a pretty good one for you guys. Um, we're continuing the um, uh, de deadly weapon or the terrible weapon challenge. Uh, and first of all, I'd like to say two things actually. We've actually got past a second episode on a uh, series I've tried to start. This is the second episode of the Terrible Weapon series. I'm impressed with that. This isn't the first, and I didn't stop doing it. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of impressed with myself for keeping up a series for these two episodes. Um, I'll keep doing it more, though, I promise. Uh, but also, I've actually passed 100 videos. I meant to say this 10 videos ago, but I kept forgetting. And I've finally have said it. Uh, I believe we're on 111 now. Uh, and the channel's still growing, views mainly more than subscribers, but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video, and subscribe to see more if you enjoy the video. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Today I'm talking about the JS2 on single shot. Um, now, to be honest, you can use most PDWs with rate of fire over 900. Uh, I chose the JS2 because it, it has the least damage of all the weapons. It does 20 damage maximum. And it does um, 11 minimum. So on minimum, it's going to take 10 shots to kill. Roughly, I think it's only about 9 actually, because the um, the actual one there to make it 11. Um, but for the sort of actual max damage, it's still going to take a hell of a long time. I believe it's going to take 5 shots to kill somebody that, that that's bad most guns in this game take about three or four uh so five shots and that's that's a close range but to be honest the rate of fire makes up for that i love this gun it has 900 rounds per minute it has some of the most annoying controllable but annoying recoil in the game uh, you'll see several points where i'll be shooting and because i have this massive scope on which i'll go into in a minute um, it sh stands in front of the screen, I can't see it, and you know, I have to keep pressing the trigger. Um, but you know, I, I love the gun, and it's not that bad on single shot, but I'll get onto that even more later on. Uh, so the attachments I have, um, I believe I have a compensator, the um, 3.4 Russian scope, uh, and I have something else on there which I can't think, and I'll have a look when it comes back on. I got a laser sight, that's what I got. Yeah, um, but yeah. Um, first of all, it's better than you think it is. Second of all, you don't want to put a red dot sight or any of them on here because if you do that, it makes it hard to use the gun for what it should be used for. Usually the um, GS2 will be close range, you know. Bump into someone, you're probably always going to win the gunfight. Um, personally, I think that when you use this, it should be slightly mid-long range. And it's quite good as a flanking weapon because it can shoot so quickly. Uh, you can go up, pop off those quick five or so shots, get the person down. By the way, so they're pulling my pistol out twice, that was reflex. It's, I didn't mean to do it, but it was reflex. Um, but, you know, you, you can go up behind someone. If you've got a silencer, you can pop those five shots off, get them, go back somewhere, and they can't see. If you don't have a silencer, you only fire five shots, meaning you'll pop up five times, uh, which is barely anything. Usually you'll pop up like 50 times with the GS2 because it fires that quickly. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of... <laughs> It's really hard to say. It sucks at some stuff, just like here. I, I really had difficulty hitting that guy because my sight... I probably should have aimed down the sight and shot at him. Uh, but I still got him. Just here as well, same instant. I probably should have got that guy. I retreated. Um, and then I got one person. No, I didn't even get one person. But, um, you know, 
it's difficult to use. To be honest, you have to go up and play with it, use it the way you think you should use it. But either way, it's really fun. To be honest, you can use any PDW, really. It doesn't matter. I just went with the JS2 because it has a high rate of fire. Um, I press, I guess, my trigger finger. Um, how quickly I press the mouse? Around about 600, 650, because I stood next to a um, 600 rounds per minute gun, um, and it did actually shoot uh, similar. You know, I was shooting and he was shooting, and they sounded very similar. So I would guess that it um, is round about that mark, but you know, I'm not sure. And personally, I think the Zod has good enough idea, but I might keep using it as it is. Um, probably not though. But this is all I have today, guys. Thanks for watching, and as we want soon. Sorry for no videos in a while, and it is a Sunday, and this video is meant to come out on a Saturday, but power cuts. Uh, so thanks, guys, and as we want soon. And I'll see you next time, guys. Blue Monster now.